Hi, this is Kevin. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on how I use ShareX, which is a really nice screen capture utility for Windows. Uh, you would download it from here, but I'm going to assume that you can get this downloaded and installed all on your own. What I want to show you is just how I use it. Uh, a couple minor configuration changes to it. Once it is installed, we can right click here on the ShareX icon in the tray. Uh, under Capture, I disable Show Cursor. We can see that's disabled here. After Capture Tasks, the only ones that I enable are Open in Image Editor and then Copy Image to Clipboard. And then I personally have an additional hotkey set, uh, but that's not really relevant to this discussion. So let's go ahead and kick it off. Um, let me show you why I think it's kind of special. So here is a window. This is Explore. If I hit Screen Capture, which is Capture Region, that's the hotkey I'm hitting. Uh, we have a lot of options. If we pull this out, we see the entire screen is selected, and that would be a full screen capture. If we bring it into this window, it automatically will capture that whole window. But we can go down and just capture this, this top toolbar, this right pane. You've got a lot of flexibility, especially when it comes to Windows applications. It can often detect the different portions of the window and just capture one specific part. I'm going to click here and capture just this portion. And this is going to bring up our image editor. Uh, often at this point, I would just hit the space bar, which is the same as continue task. And that's going to copy this to my clipboard because that was my second after task action. Um, but sometimes I want a little bit more. Uh, maybe I want to come in here and highlight some things on here. Super fast, easy to do, and then once it's laid down, you can still adjust all of these. Uh, add some text. Uh, and again, we can adjust the coloring there. You've got a lot of flexibility about what you can do with this. And after you've annotated this any way you like, if you hit this Apply Changes and Continue, the Continue is then that copy to Clipboard. So that would take all of these edits and copy that to the Clipboard. But often I might want, but not always, the Clipboard's my most common, but here is a Save As. So I can come in here, put it exactly where I want, save the file name just how I want, and share that out. So you can use a clipboard, a file, and additionally, it has ways to send things to other common uh, image sharing websites. That's all I wanted to show you. Good luck and happy capturing.